What is up everybody? Demon here with a Modern Warfare 3 throwing knife tutorial. And man, I've been waiting a long time to say that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Spawn to spawn. This is for dome. You're going to run out, push up against the corner here. Left gradicule of the sniper rifle without steady aim. Straight up. Toss your throwing knife. Going to come down into the enemy spawn. Should pick someone off. Running through there. Uh, pretty good spot. Uh, that's exactly where most people run through. So uh, you should be able to get a kill there every once in a while. Not too bad. And now for the noob tube. Same side. Just go to the opposite corner as you can see. You're going to push up in the corner. Aim with the bottom graticule like that. With those graticules lined up over the fence. I'm going to adjust down just ever so slightly right here. And right there, boom, straight through the three poles that you can see in front of you, like on the mountaintop. Shoot right through there. It's going to bring it into their spawn. Hit that back corner, blow up the barrel. Should be able to get uh, someone right off the bat there. Again, not too bad. Now for throwing knife, opposite side. Push up here against the uh, blue squares, <laughs> if you will. Look straight up into the enemy spawn or where they'd be running from their spawn toss your throwing knife it's gonna land right between the jeeps up there and uh, should pick someone off if they're running from that side of the building as you can see right there where people like to run through boom perfect should pick someone off not too bad same side time for the uh, noob tube right spawn tubes you want to aim with the uh, right between, you want to push up against the back wall and you want to aim between the building and the fence right here. As you can see, we're going to adjust over to the left from here. Right there with the top line parallel to the fence closest to you. And go ahead and fire your noob tube. It'll bring it right back, right by the doorway. Pretty good spot. If you want to hit the Jeeps, lower it just a little bit. And you should be able to hit those Jeeps and get some extra explosions going on. Now, for the, uh, they're not bomb hawks anymore, huh? I don't want to call them bomb knives. Help me think of a name, guys. But for the uh, throwing knives to the bomb sites, first one, plant right here off the edge. As you saw, I threw down that little motion sensor slash radar. That's what you're going to need to use in, from now on since there are no camera spikes. But go toss that down. You want to plant right there off the edge. Run over way over here to this corner. Push into the corner straight up overlooking the bomb marker. And as soon as you see him pop up there, right about now is when he got there. Give him just a second to settle in. Toss the throwing knife, and it should pick him off, defusing the bomb right there at B. Again, have to use the uh, the portable radar, portable motion sensor, whatever they want to call it. And uh, toss your throwing knife right there. It's going to be a little bit more difficult, but should be able to pick someone off. There, just threw it down again. This time we're going to plant in the middle. This is the second one for B right in the middle of the bomb on this side and we're gonna run back towards our spawn all the way into the spawn boom 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 here we go all right all the way into the spawn you're gonna push up against the edge of this doorway here as you can see me line it up look straight up overlooking the b bomb marker and as soon as you start to see him settle in go ahead and toss your throwing knife should pick him off defusing right there at the bomb where we planted again these do have to be exact, guys, so be sure to keep an eye on it. Again, with the radar, you're not going to actually see them pick up the bomb. I suggest once you see the dot come on your radar, give it a few seconds, and uh, then go ahead and toss. Now for A, right? I only have one for A because it's a little bit more difficult because it's undercover. But for A, you want to plant right here off this corner as we plant the bomb. Remember, guys, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash demonicops. I'll have the link in the description. And uh, you can also add me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com, search demonicops at gmail.com. And you're going to run back to your spawn into this corner again. Look familiar. You're going to aim with the bottom graticule of your sniper rifle without steady aim over the pole, kind of dividing right there off to the left, just a bit of the bomb marker, and toss your throwing knife. What it's going to do, it's going to sneak into that little hole right there and pick them off defusing the bomb right there at A. And who says throwing knives can't bounce? I know I didn't say that. There you go, guys. They do bounce if you hit them at the right angle. Now for the direct impact noob tube. Yes, we can still do it in Modern Warfare 3. And it is still just as sexy. You want to plant right here off the edge of the bomb. Push back a little bit. Kind of right at those clasps. And you're going to run back over here. Right up against these stairs. It's kind of loading dock area. And what you're going to do is you're going to aim with the bottom line 
of the noob tube just over the corner of that window and go ahead and fire it's gonna hit the wall bank off fly over and pick them off defusing the bomb right there at B so I hope you guys enjoyed I've got more to come I'm gonna be doing every map from Modern Warfare 3. I've got some more cool stuff coming for you as far as tutorials. If you're new to my channel, remember, go ahead and subscribe. This is what I do. You can expect to see more. And I'll see you guys playing some Modern Warfare 3. This is Damon, and I'm out. Peace.